Hi guys, Mimi G here with a pattern haul. So I know it's been a minute since I have done one, but I have had a lot going on since the start of the year. And quite honestly, I haven't had a whole lot of time to sew um, or buy fabric or really do anything outside of just the very specific projects that I've been doing. So the other day I went to Joann's to grab something that I needed for a project and I noticed that um, patterns were on sale. So I went through and picked up some of my favorites. So I'm gonna show you now. Um, I got some McCall's and some Vogue patterns. And for the most part, um, I liked most of what came out. So I only really grabbed the ones that I saw, not just obviously the potential within the pattern envelope and the, you know, the, the garment shown, but beyond that, right? Like how much could I modify this pattern? Like how many different ways can I make this and make it look different? Can I hack it? Can, you know, those are all the sort of the things that I think about when I buy a pattern aside from the fact that, oh, I really like just what you're showing me on this pattern envelope. So um, let's start with um, McCall's 8045. So I really like these pants. <laughs> I love this like 80s inspired waist. I think they're really cool. I love the button fly and I'm curious to see how they're gonna fit on a curvy girl. So I'm looking forward to trying them out and then you know letting you guys know what I think, but I really do love them. I think they're very, very cool. So the other one is um, McCall's 8043. So <laughs> what is funny is that when this pattern was um, posted on the McCall's website, I had so many people um, tag me in it and say, Mimi, are you gonna make this top because I can't wait to see what you're gonna do with it. And so um, I knew when I saw it that I liked it, but really what I liked most about it, um, which you really don't actually see on the front of the pattern envelope because I don't know why they do that, but whatever. Um, is the back of it. Okay, so the back is really what I love. You see how open that is? Amazing, I cannot wait to make this. So, you know, I'm always thinking of hacks, so I can see this being, you know, using the top and then adding um, a different pants pattern to the bottom and making this a jumpsuit or adding a skirt and making it a dress. There's so many different things that I would love to do with this and I just really love this pattern. I think it's a really good one. Then the other one, um, super basic, is 8037, also McCall's. Um, I have a Berta pattern that has sort of that similar front tie situation, but um, what I liked about it is that it had three different options. So it has the cowl neck, it has the long skirt, it has the short version. So overall, this is a really good pattern to sort of add a lot of details or maybe chop it up, hack it, do all kinds of things to it. So that's really why I got it. And you know guys, I always look at the line drawing so you don't always see everything that comes in this pattern or all of the options in the photograph um, that is shown to you on the, on the front of the pattern. So your best bet is to always look at the line drawings so that you can see all the different options like the back of this shirt which is super important yet not shown. Um, okay, 8034, I love this dress. I'm not really, I don't really care for that too much. There's a lot of patterns um, sort of like that, but this is really cool. And on her, I was like, okay, I can see those sleeves. I can see that dress. I love it. Uh, you can make it out of a ton of different things. You can make it super casual or you can make it um, out of a fancier fabric and have like a really great cocktail dress. You can make it out of a knit fabric and just have like a casual dress for the summer with some cute sandals. So there was a lot of possibilities with this. Plus I like this sleeve option as well. So that was a winner. Um, and then I really liked 8034. So I love a great shirt dress. And what I really loved was the top of this, right? So I love the sleeve, I love the gathering. I like that it has a yoke. I like the curved hemline. So there were a lot of things about this pattern that I just really, really like. It has pockets, I mean, you know. It was a no-brainer for me, so I love this one. And then when we came to Vogue, um, I thought this was really interesting. This is a Sandra Betzina pattern. Um, you know, I like to support her whenever she has new patterns out. I'm not always um, a huge fan of all of them, but you know, mo for the most part, every time that she comes out with something, I'm like, yes. 
Um, so I love this. I thought this was really cool, interesting. You know, <laughs> honestly, I don't even know what the heck I'm gonna make that out of. But it's really cool looking, especially this view here, the way they sort of use this fabric and the mesh. It's just a really cool, funky look. So I might do something with that. And that's what, Vogue 1690. And then there's Vogue 1685. Love the pants, love the pleat, love, love all this, okay? Now the only thing for me is really finding the right fabric to give me the look that I want because I use something that's too sort of loose and flowy that I'm not gonna get sort of that shape. But that's kind of good, right? Because then that means that you can have two completely different uh, pants that look differently because one is flowy and is not going to have sort of this structure and then the other if you use a fabric that has a lot more structure then you're going to get sort of this look here so both of these were really great this is Vogue 1685 um okay Vogue 1688 this is um interesting <laughs> this is interesting not crazy about this whole thing together i don't i don't know uh, yeah I, mean, I don't i don't really know about that but what i did love were these pants so the pants have a lot of potential i don't know if it's i just don't like the fabric that was used because it doesn't look like it pressed really well so that sort of threw me off a bit but the pant style is really dope and so that might be something that i wear where i'll make both but maybe just not wear them together although when you look it looks like there's it just what it is is it looks like it's a lot you know what i'm saying it's like a lot happening but if you look at the line drawing which i tell you guys to do all the time it's not as busy as it looks on the front but if you look at the details on these pants the seam lines the pleats the back the pocket it's just a lot of really cool things that I think would look great, maybe on their own. Just my opinion. Um, 1683, I love this skirt. Um, not sure about this one, but I really do love this one. So let me show you the line drawing because you can see it better. Isn't that cool? I really love the shape of that. Um, this is Vogue 1683, and although I probably would make this one too, this is the reason that I bought it. I really was attracted to this skirt, um, the shape of it, the lines of it. The only thing I would need to be careful of is making sure that I use a fabric that is not going to show the underside of the other side because it's overlapping, and if you use something that's light or thin, then you might see it on the other side, and so I'm just going to be weary of that whenever I decide on fabric. Let's see what else we got. We have, oh, Vogue 1679. I am here for this look right here. I have a pants pattern like this. Um, and this actually might be the Vogue pattern that came out with the last group of pants that she's wearing. I would bet that it almost is, which I love that pants pattern. I haven't made it, but I'm dying to. Um, and then I like this top. I think it's really, really cool. When you look at the back of it, it has really great lines, really great options of you want to do like the big sleeve or you want to do the, I don't know that I would do the ties at the wrists. Um, not crazy about things like that. They bother me. <laughs> so I don't know that I would do that, but maybe the slimmer sleeve or so many options. I really like it. I think it's really chic. Uh, let's see. Vogue 1672. Super basic, but love it. Love the shape of it. This is a dress that anybody can wear. It's super easy to sort of put on anybody and you're gonna look and feel amazing. So I really loved it. If you look at the line drawing, you'll see that it has some detail, um, but for the most part, it's just it's just a really cool wrap with a you know a beautiful circle skirt. So really, really loving that. Uh, Vogue 1675, so like I said, I'm really only buying patterns that I really love and can see a lot of potential with, to be quite honest. Uh, sometimes I'll buy something and at the moment I'm like, oh, I really like this, but then after it sits with me for a while, I'm like, I'm not really sure I'm digging this. So that's what happened with 1675. Not really sure I'm <laughs> digging this at all. I don't even know that I would wear it. Um honestly don't even know why I got it. It's one of the, I like it. I think it's a really nice dress and there's, I'm sure some event or something I'm speaking at or some television appearance that I'm doing where I could use this and make it and I would look amazing. Um, but just off the top of my head was not 
not my favorite of all of them. So if I did do it, I would probably do the sleeveless one. But it is a great pattern to sort of have because if you look at the line drawing, it's a basic shift dress. And it's always a great idea to have a basic shift dress pattern in your stash. So um, those are all of the patterns that I got from the McCall Vogue sale. There are some that I plan to pick up from Simplicity, um, including some of mine that you're going to see very, very soon because the spring patterns start to ship to stores at the end of this month. And I'm so excited for you to see my new spring patterns. Um, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this pattern haul. Until next time, peace.